What up, everyone? Episode three of One More Match starts right now. Making his way to the ring from Toronto, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Christian. One must wonder what's going through Christian's mind. I mean, is Captain Charisma really okay with what transpired just one week ago? We're going to find out tonight. Yeah, I don't think we can predict what Christian's thinking about, but we're going to see what he's thinking when the bell rings. That's for sure. And his partner from St. Louis, Missouri, Weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the world heavyweight champion, Randy Orton. Randy Orton and Christian will face each other at over the limit, but tonight, your tag team partner. You know, I don't see how Randy Orton can trust Christian or how Christian can trust Randy Orton. I think this match is going to be real interesting. The tag team match with, if I'm not mistaken, it should be Christian. Randy Orton versus Sheamus and Mark Henry. Yeah, there we go. Let's go! Making his way to the ring from Silsby, Texas, weighing in at 418 pounds, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. This is the new Mark Henry. The world's strongest man has changed everything about himself. It's all about him now. Absolutely. For Mark Henry, this is a phenomenal opportunity to establish himself as a top contender for the coveted World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, Mark Henry had at the time was World Heavyweight Champion a couple, I think a couple years ago when this happened, before this happened. So, when he had that big push, everyone fucking loved it. So, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Look at the chain on two. And his partner from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 272 pounds. Fella! Sheamus! Sheamus, the former two time WWE champion, brings a focused attitude to this match. It just might be the palest man in the world. <laughs> that may just be a pigment of your imagination. Uh, but we're going to see if Sheamus and Mark Henry can gel as a tag team and not let personal goals get in the way. I was fucked up for them to say some shit like that. Anyway, let's get cracking this match. Let's get cracking. Tag team competition is not something that can be learned overnight. And that is a statement that pertains to both of these teams. Yeah, Neil Cole, I've been part of many successful tag teams. And you have to be able to know what your partner is actually thinking and doing at all times. Well, like us out here, King. Yeah. At least for the <laughs> team of Orton and Christian, they've been part of successful tandems. For Sheamus and Mark Henry, they've primarily been singles competitors. Okay, you saw the glitch here, right? A okay. quick reversal by Sheamus. I know I'm not crazy. The world title held by some of the greatest figures in this business was won by Christian at Extreme Rules, then captured by Randy Orton five days later on SmackDown and will be up for grabs in two weeks and over the limit. Man, it seemed like over the, the championship limit. was experiencing a case of hot potato. Oh! But Randy Orton seems determined to restore stability. Sheamus turns it around. <laughs> for a big guy, Sheamus sure is sneaky. A big fist to the gut. Oh, what a smack. He gets out of trouble there. Well, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. That's my back. That's my back. That's my back. Oh, big oh, time German. Suplex. German suplex. Don't tag him in. Oh my gosh, gonna tag him in. I'll well, tag in Randy then, son. Let's go. And he finally gets oh, out of the ring. Maybe I shouldn't run at him like that. That was kind of dumb. But anyway. Tag team is to work together for the same success. Will Mark Henry and Sheamus work together for success, or will individual agendas get in the way? This could implode at any time. Yeah, think of what being the superstar that pinned Randy Orton in this match 
could do for that man's career. Mark Henry and Shane is certainly making for an interesting tag team combination. Eat that it shit. will be interesting, Cole, especially since Sheamus and Mark Henry are more known as singles competitors. Mark Henry reversed it. No, you ain't doing. Uh oh, okay, he's picking me up. I thought he I reversed it or something. Big time backbreaker. Ooh, backbreaker. Big kick echoing around the arena. Come on, big man. Okay, or not. Oh, neck breaker by Orton. He got him. He's going to destroy this man. Another neck breaker. Can Ooh. Randy Orton really trust Christian in this tag match? You know, we've seen unlikely pairs, but these two have become bitter rivals. I don't think the Viper completely trusts anyone, but we'll see if the mutual respect he and Christian seem to have for one another is enough to keep them together as a team. Hey, this is a bit of a surprise. Mark Henry's already weak. I wonder how long this will last. The world's strongest man is on his heels, but it's going to take a lot more than that to keep him down. Yeah, Mark Henry's not off to his usual dominant start. I don't know if this is really hurting the world's strongest what the fuck man you doing? or just making him mad. What the fuck are you doing? Get outside. Uh oh, Charlie. They got him. Big time DDT. Oh my. Oh boy. Sheamus is dazed here. Sheamus on the receiving end to start things off here. You can bet he's looking to turn things around and back. Yeah, I know we have a lot of match left, but this is uh, not how Sheamus wants to start off. Man, this is a unique set of circumstances. In this tag match, <laughs> Randy Orton is looking at three top contenders to his world title. One of which is his tag team partner. King, it is a unique set of circumstances. You have to wonder if Randy Orton has been looking over his shoulder since he woke up today. Well, for the Viper to be in a tag match with essentially his top three contenders, I think Orton won't feel safe until this night is over, and he's holding the World Heavyweight Championship on his charter bus. Randy Orton's going to be looking across the ring at his opponent, Sheamus and Mark Henry, and checking for the whereabouts of his partner, Christian. Once Sheamus gets on this roll, King, he's so tough to stop, but he's not been able to get out of the blocks at all in this match. Sheamus might be wondering what hit him and how many times. The Chelsea Warrior's <laughs> been looking to make a name for himself on SmackDown. He needs to show some signs of life here before it's too late. Yeah! Oh no. RKO. Josh James at RKO. I just did. I just did. Are you kidding me? Uh oh. I just hit him with the RKO. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Ah, oh, my leg. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. All right, I had to hit another fucking RKO after I just hit one. But luckily, I'm very close to... And I'm sure that was just pure instinct on Sheamus' part. Oh, the Viper's not off to the best of starts. Orton needs to find a reversal or a counter here. Can you actually mention this? Randy Orton needs to shift the momentum here before he really gets into trouble. Yeah, Randy Orton's been on the receiving end of some offense that, if it continues, will put him in a bad, bad way. The quick reversal there by Randy Orton. Why he reversed my shit. reversal. Can he follow up? And there's the drop kick. Timber, and he falls. Let me Christian deal with that real quick. Outside, outside, outside. Thank you. Now he's back out on the apron. Henry's in trouble. Mark I don't know why they give the guys a finisher if he can already do that. Get, you know what I mean? He's on the short end of this thing. Yeah, it looks like me a signature. Okay, done. The world's strongest man. I don't know if we're going to see a Hall of Pain induction in this one or not. King Mark Henry starting to show real fatigue. He's always a world's strongest slam away from victory, but he needs the strength to perform that move. Break your legs off, big man. It's a very quiet match for me because tag team matches just they they, they sadden me they they make me sad. All right, that's three times now. That's three times, Henry. To actually, two times reverse my shit. Oh. Damn. Hey, do I springboard? Do I springboard? This is a super heavyweight type offense we're seeing. Nope. Some would consider taking the world's strongest man off his feet as a victory in itself. <laughs> right. 
and he's Ain't wrong. Back inside Tagging the Randy. Ah, I might as well do what I can. Hurry up. Did you hear the impact from that clothesline? He's still not through. Go tag your boy in. A swift kick. Mark Henry is just too strong to get caught in a move like that. And he reversed it. Good move. Thank you. Come on, Sheamus. Let's go, bitch. Are you? Are right, everyone's reversing my shit now? Great. Are you kidding me? And the sound of human flesh on the ground echoes around the arena. With a many kicks Fuck out, out of here. Past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Oh, Each fuck your shit. Big time, time DT. Yeah, now we're kicking with Looks like somebody more oil than fire, man. Wait, what about oil and fire? Because oil itself can't cook anything oh without my, heat, right? So, fuck it. I have two finishers? When did I get two? Some OP shit right here. RKO! Oh, shit! Whew. Good kitchen sink by Seamus. Looking to put Randy Orton away here. In the oh, hey, look at a prettier. Oh my gosh, Christian from behind. Are you kidding me? He's too strong. Oh RKO. What? And what? what? Christian hooks the line. One, two, three. Good shit. Here are your winners, Christian and the world heavyweight champion, Randy Orton. Randy Orton, the new world heavyweight champion, and Christian, victorious as teammates. <laughs> Wait a minute, are you kidding me? Orton and Christian. There's no way Christian can be happy with this at all. Man. There's a sight I never thought I'd see.